Hey guys, I've got a Nitro, uh, Nitro 5 and the SSD doesn't detect. I'm jumping to the end, I'll just uh, uh, sort it out and I'll go back to the beginnings on how to get those drivers. But basically, once you load up the driver into USB, load it up, browse and I've got it on the USB, VMD, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to try the first one to see if that works and if not then I'm just going to try a few other drivers as well. Okay, beautiful. So um, it detects the SSD, so that's good because I was going to format it. Now let's go at the beginning. I told you this is the end. So the beginning, I downloaded the driver on their website. <clears throat> this is the one download uh, setup RST, and that's the the link. I'm going to link it up to the description as well. Um, so once you downloaded that, then you come to your download. Uh, folder and then what you want to do is cmd.exe okay so you hit that and then there is this um, binary uh, copy so set up rst.exe copy that exactly the same way and hit enter once you do that just give it a few minutes and it will load up into the folder Okay, so here we go. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the VMD, you copy that, and then you put a flash drive. And then um, <clears throat> doesn't matter. You, it's not you don't you don't have to make it bootable. You can just copy paste into USB. Once you do that, uh, I've already copied it, so I paste it here. So you paste that, you take it out and you put it into the laptops you want to detect that thingy and then you load the driver, browse and then you access the the folder that you copied into the USB and once you do that, uh, hit enter and because you already have this um, hidden it only shows the driver that's compatible so this driver, if it shows, then it's 100% compatible, it's going to work so I've tried the first one and that's it so I'm not gonna go, go back. All right. Yeah, it, it was a nightmare because on the, 